we are now going to test the bipolar energy output of the Valley Lab Kavine FT10. In order to do such, we're going to disconnect the cable hookup that we used prior by removing the REM adapter cable. Once it is removed, we're going to take our variable high and place it into the leftmost port of the bipolar output of the FT10. Then we will use our black banana pin cable, plug into the variable low, the QES3, and into the rightmost port of the Valley Lab Covidian bipolar output. When it is plugged in, make sure that the two DIN switches inside the output are completed, completely compressed and activated. And that's the cable hookup for the bipolar energy output of the Valley Lab Covidian FT10. We are now going to select 100 ohm load on our QES3 by rolling down to 100 ohms. Once 100 ohms is selected in QES3, we're going to go to our FT10. We're going to select bipolar. And we're going to go to bipolar high. And it would like us to select 95 watts by pushing the up arrow. Once at 95 watts, activate on the QES3, or I'm sorry, start continuous on the QES3 by pushing F4. And on the FT10, we're gonna press activate. Our range is 843 milliamps to 1,133. We are reading 959 milliamps, and we are outputting 968.0 milliamps while within the specification. We're going to deactivate and hold the values on the FT10. Now we're going to select 40 watts by pushing the down arrow. And it would like us to do bipolar medium. Now we're going to have to push up arrow to get to 40, million, 40 watts. Once 40 watts is selected, press activate as the QES3 is still running. Our range is 547 to 735 milliamps. We are reading 618 milliamps with an output of 626.5 milliamps while within the specification. Deactivate and hold the values of the Q on the FT10. The final test of the bipolar energy output at 100 ohm load is at 15 watts. We're going to go to the FT10. We're going to go to RF mode, bipolar low. Once it's selected, we're going to increase to 15 watts. Once 15 watts is selected, we're going to go to the 100 ohm load as referenced by our service manual, 100 ohms. Start continuous on the QES3 and activate on the Valley Lab Covidian FT10. Our range is 335 to 450 milliamps. We are reading 379 milliamps on the QES3 with an output of 383.7 milliamps on the FT10, well within range. We're going to press deactivate and hold values and stop on the QES3. That completes the bipolar energy output testing at 100 ohms on the Violab Covidian FT10. Final retake of testing of the ligature and bipolar output of the Violab Covidian FT10. We're going to disconnect the bipolar cables that we've used in the previous step and replace them with the bipolar ligature cables found in the kit, the QES3. When looking at the ligature cables, you can see a distinct difference. This is the bipolar cable, this is the normal output cables, and this is the bipolar ligature cable. We're going to connect the ligature cable to the variable low, right port of the QES3, to the rightmost port of the Valley Lab Covidian FT10 ligature. And then we will use the red ligature cable to connect to the leftmost port of the QES3 and the leftmost port of the ligature bipolar port of the FT10. We're then going to select 100 ohm load on the QES3 and select bipolar resection coag on the FT10 by pushing the RF mode button, BPR coag, and then effect six for our power setting. Push up button, 
start continuous into QAS3, and activate on the Valley Covidian FT10. We are looking for 1,145 to 1,538 milliamps. We have 1,301 milliamps as a reading on the QAS3, and 1,300. And 15.6 milliamps on the Valley Lab Covidian FT10. Stop on the QAS3 and we're going to push the activate hold values on the Covidian FT10. We're now going to select bipolar resection cut, pushing the mode button, going up one to the BPR cut. We're going to select effect 6 again and on the QAS3 we're going to select a 500 ohm load by rolling the knob up to 500 ohms. Once 500 ohms is selected, start continuous on the QES3 and activate on the FT10. We're looking for 547 to 735 milliamps. We're reading 624 milliamps on the QES3 with an output of 629.2 on the FT10. Deactivate and hold values. Stop on the QES3. We are now going to select the ligature on the FT10 and we're going to 5 watts and then on the QES3 we're going to select 50 ohms. Start continuous in the QES3 and press activate on the FT10. We're looking for 276 to 357 milliamps on the FT10. We're reading at 310 with an output of 315.3 milliamps. That is well within passing. Stop on the QES3 and deactivate hold values on the FT10. We're now going to do ligature at 50 ohms, 350 watts. So we're going to push the up arrow. Once 350 watts is selected, start continuous on the QES3 and activate on the Valley Lab Covidian FT10. We are looking for 1,940 to 2,740 milliamps. We're reading 2,249 milliamps and we are output 2,289.9 milliamps on the Valley Lab Covidian FT10. Deactivate and hold values. Stop on the QES3. That completes the testing of the ligature and bipolar output. We're now going to verify the REM function according to the service manual for the Valley Covidian FT10. This procedure is found on page 6-20 of the service manual. To perform the REM function test, we're going to use the two lead REM pad cable found in the QES3. On the QES3, you will title this CQM, as in Contact Quality Monitor. To perform this test, you take the dual pin REM slash CQM adapter, plug it into the REM port of the Valley Lab Covidian FT10. We're now going to plug the black port into the very below port of the QES3 and the red cable into the CQM port of the QES3. Once plugged in, we're going to select the CQM contact quality monitor test. F4 on the front main screen of the QES3. According to the service manual, we are now set a resistance of 100 ohms on the QES3. By rolling the knob up to 100 ohms, one hundred ohms here, and reading on the REM Z mag, we have a 101.2. 101.35 ohms on the Valley Lab Covidian FT10. The range is 93 to 107, so we were well within tolerance. We're, in, we're now going to decrease the resistance to 50 ohms on the, CQ, on the CQM test of the QES3. Once 50 ohms is selected, we'll read on the FT10. We have 51.49 ohms on the FT10. The tolerance is 43 to 57 ohms. Step three of the test is to decrease to zero ohms. So we're going to decrease the QS3 to zero ohms. 
And on the FT10, we should read between 0 and 4. We are currently reading 0 0.77 ohms, well within tolerance. The last step is to remove the cable from the REM port of the FT10. And the Z-Mag major in display should read less than 2,000 ohms. We are reading 1,391. So this FT10 passes the test. That is the completion of the Valley Lab Covidian FT10 REM test.